today I am here doing another short hair tutorial for you ladies. And since the beginning of the Cherry Doll Face channel, girls have asked me how to do victory rolls on short slash shorter hair. So this is going to tell you everything you need to know. Another thing I get all the time is girls asking me, what if I don't have bangs, can I still do victory rolls? Victory rolls are actually easier to do if you don't have bangs growing out. If you have your hair all one length, they're way easier because there's less hair to sort of tuck in. So if you do have bangs, don't stress, you can still do it. They just take a little bit extra teasing, a little bit extra work, but um, let's show you guys how to do it. Okay, so to start with, you are going to want to part your hair slightly off center. Center part victory rolls are way more work, so just part your hair off the center a little bit. And then you're gonna part your hair for the roll. So you're gonna start from the point of your ear and then draw a line all the way to the top of your part. Then I'm just gonna pin this hair up. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So now with the hair that is left, you're just going to want to curl it with an inch barrel curling iron and then pin it. I don't like to use a big barrel curling iron, um, especially with shorter hair, because it makes these curls back here way too cutesy and too tight. They end up being more like little curly Sue um, or Shirley Temple curls versus like pretty soft curls. So just release the curl and then pin it, pink, just like that, super easy. Okay, so once all of your hair is curled, it should look a little something like this, and just let that cool while you do your rolls. So, this first roll, I'm just gonna take my curling iron and curl the hair up in the direction that you want the rolls to roll. If you have any layers or any pieces that start to fall out, don't worry about them. You can just pull them out separately and curl them on their own. These curls don't need to be pretty, you just need to make sure that you curl the ends. So now I'm gonna take my teasing comb and I'm just going to tease this hair section by section. Now I'm gonna take my styling wax. I'm using Suavecita today. You can use any sort of wax or pomade that you prefer. I'm just gonna get a little bit on my fingertips and then use it to smooth the hair that I've just teased. Then I'm gonna take my smoothing brush and just smooth that outer layer. Then I'm gonna set that wax with my Flip It Over texturizing hairspray and just give it one more smooth. Now I'm gonna wind the hair around my fingers and make sure that it stays nice and smooth. Then I'm going to wind it down. Boop. And then you can wiggle your fingers if you want it to loosen a little bit. Then I'm gonna stick a pin in there right towards the part. And then I'm just gonna leave that one alone and finish this one. Now the thing to remember with victory rolls with shorter hair, especially if you have fine hair, they might not necessarily touch each other. And I know a lot of girls go for those big, beautiful rolls that touch each other. But the thing is with short hair and fine short hair, sometimes there's just not enough hair to make them big enough to get to the center of your head. My hair is very thick and it's also a little bit long, um, longer for short hair. If you have like shoulder length hair or fine hair, odds are it's not gonna be long enough to make big rolls. So what you can do is just make them um, more to the side of your head. So we would do one over here and then one a little bit higher. Just make sure that they are still laying flat and you can't see through them. And that goes for all rolls. You don't ever want to be able to see through rolls. So I'm just going to do the same exact thing to this other side. But of course, we're too far. I'm on a lick with that. I've been shaking all night. And of course, we're too far. Now see, because my hair is shorter, my rolls aren't quite touching each other, and that's totally okay. So I'm just gonna put a pin in there, and then a couple more pins just to anchor it. There's not one specific place to put pins, it's different for everybody's hair. Just make sure they're really in there. So now I'm just gonna kind of arrange my rolls to make sure they lay right. If you need to put any more pins in there, you can. I think I'm pretty good. So now I'm just gonna do a little bit more spray and smooth. Make sure they are laying down in the back. So now I've kind of wiggled them and pinned them so they are actually touching each other. But if they weren't, it's okay, not the end of the world. Okay, so now I'm gonna start to take the pins out of the back of my hair. Once your pins are all out, just run your fingers through the curls to loosen them. And with this style, you don't really have to worry about these curls. If you wanna do a little bit of teasing, you can. If you don't want to, it's not a big deal. That's why I like short hair victory rolls because they're way faster and they're less stressful when it comes to styling the rest of your hair. 
So that's it. Super easy, short hair, victory rolls, really fast, super awesome. If you guys want more short hair tutorials, definitely subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more of them now that my hair has been chopped off. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.